So there's something I wanted to touch on that I saw on a video earlier, and I don't remember whose video I saw it on. Um, I was scrolling through Instagram and saw it on a feed. And I think it's something that's not addressed enough, because if you actually work from concealment, you'll see that this happens. Uh, maybe you've never had this happen to you, but uh, you might encounter the problem, especially if you're running suppressor height sights. So what I saw happen in the video is the guy drew like this and went to punch out and the shirt hung on the sides. And what you'll see happens is as I continue to try to overpower the gun and press out, what's happening? The gun's out of battery and look, well, the gun's stuck. In this case, you know, I cleared it and it did rechamber around, but I've actually encountered this problem in utilizing a two-hand drawing technique. Uh, Bill Rapier is the first guy that I saw and that I trained with that teaches a one-hand draw, right? I have never personally had that happen while utilizing a single-hand draw. Just taking the thumb breaking the shirt back, clearing everything. And we can still fire from retention right here. Um, I've never had that happen with a one hand draw and I really don't see how it could happen. But when you're utilizing a two hand, especially with a cheater's grip, if you're trying to run like the, uh, the modern samurai project drills and you wanna use a cheater's grip, which I'm guilty of doing, um, I've had that happen. You'll just not get the shirt up high enough or whatever garment you're trying to clear and you'll do that which like i said if you try to overpower it it can you know pull your slide out of battery or cycle to action both cases it actually has picked up another round so um and also just utilizing a two-hand draw for me i have found that it can happen I'm not an expert with running from concealment. Uh, for myself, using a handgun from concealment is probably the least likely scenario of me actually using it. So I am guilty of not training con from concealment enough. It's something that I do like once a week tops, or uh, I try to do it in the mornings whenever I put my holster or strap up with stuff. I try to run through a few minutes of dry fire but I don't do it nearly as much as I should as it's the least likely scenario for me and I'm not a sponsored shooter, so I'm self-funded. I invest my training resources where I'm most likely to use this. So just something to play around with, uh, especially if you're using suppressor height sights. It's really, it's possible. And I've done it with just standard Glock sights. As I ran standard Glock sights, Glock sights on this gun for years, and I've also experienced that. They'll usually slip off if you try to overpower them, or at least with the Glock sights. But definitely with these big, clunky suppressor sights, if they, it won't slip off for me. I'll end up having to, as you see, clear the garment with my hand. Um, so, something to play around with, something to think about.